वेलकम व्यूअर्स टू येट अनादर एक्सपेरिमेंटल वीडियो ऑफ बायो हर आई एम योर बायोलॉजी फेसिलिटेटर डॉक्टर सीमा शर्मा दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट आइसोलेशन ऑफ डीएनए फ्रॉम प्लांट मटेरियल फर्स्ट लेट्स नो व्हाट इज डीएनए डीएनए इज डी ऑक्सी राइबो न्यूक्लिक एसिड इट इज वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड एंड इट इज प्रेजेंट इन न्यूक्लियस ऑफ ऑलमोस्ट ईच एंड एवरी लिविंग सेल This DNA helps in protein synthesis and it plays a very vital role during replication of the cells. Coming to the purpose of DNA isolation in general. First purpose is forensic test. Second is paternity test. Third making of vaccines. Fourth making of new and novel varieties of plants. Fifth a large number of other medical tests related to dna in this video you are going to know about the simple and systematic steps of isolation of dna from plant material so let's know what all is required to go ahead with this experiment these are the materials which are required for isolation of dna from plant material for this we need one banana we need one knife we need one transparent poly bag preferably a zip lock bag liquid dish washer one strainer measuring cylinder 100 ml of distilled water one empty beaker one dropper common salt one glass rod one rod for spooling the dna and we also need a weighing machine in addition to these things we also need 95% chilled ethanol i have kept that bottle in the refrigerator and it will be taken out as and when required now coming to procedures step 1 preparation of dna extracting solution in this we need 10 grams of sodium chloride 10 ml of liquid dish washer and 90 ml of distilled water so here is 90 ml of distilled water this is the measuring cylinder i am pouring 10 ml of this liquid detergent in it 10 ml now we need 10 grams of sodium chloride let's weigh it on this weighing machine you know viewers overall charge on dna is negative so to neutralize that negative charge sodium chloride is added during extraction of dna so now this is 10 grams of sodium chloride these are the three ingredients which are required for solution first you pour this sodium chloride in 90 ml of distilled water dissolve it with the help of a stirrer and then add this liquid detergent to it now this solution is ready next step is take the ripe banana in this experiment we are isolating dna from ripe banana fruit isolation of dna can also be carried out from strawberries and kiwis the reason is this banana or strawberry and kiwi they are triploid octoploid and hexaploid respectively so the amount of dna extracted will be more second thing is these are fruits ripe fruits so they can be easily mashed up next requirement is one zip lock bag and we also need a knife we need a half of this banana i am going to peel it take one half of it 
put it inside the zipper bag, close it and just crush it or mash it with the help of your thumb and fingers to make a uniform paste. You have to ensure that there should be no lumps left behind. This step will hardly take one minute. So now you can see completely mashed up banana tissues there in this zipper bag. Our next step is to pour this DNA extracting solution which contains 10 grams of sodium chloride, 10 ml of liquid dishwasher and 90 ml of water into this and close it. Now we have to again mix it well. You can shake it. You can use your fingers and thumb mechanically to make a uniform slurry. Why we added sodium chloride? This can be one of the question in your viva voce. Sodium chloride neutralizes the overall negative charge of DNA. It also helps in detaching the binding proteins from strands of DNA. Now coming to the logic of adding liquid detergent. Liquid detergent has the ability to break the plasma membrane and nuclear membrane because they are made up of lipid and protein molecules. So now this concentrate is ready. Next step is we have to filter the extract and for that we need a strainer and one beaker. Straining will help us to separate out most of the cellular debris from the liquid filtrate. Viewers, you have to be very careful while performing it. It will take some time. So now you can see majority of the cellular debris have stayed back in the strainer and extract has passed out and got collected in the beaker. Finally, we have the filtrate and this is chilled 95% ethanol solution. Take 5 ml of this ethanol and pour it from one side of the beaker. Wait for some time, you will be able to notice DNA fragments. See here, the DNA fragments are visible. Spool these gently and extract these. You can see I have kept the extracted DNA here for better visibility. Keep on spooling gently through interface of these two layers to collect the precipitated DNA. And place it gently in the container. You can see this white material which I have taken out from this filtrate is actually DNA. In this experiment, we have used 95% chilled ethanol. And the logic behind using this chilled ethanol is it helps in the extraction of longer fragments of DNA because it avoids their fragmentation or denaturation. If the ethanol is warmer or kept at room temperature, then instead of long fragments of DNA, we will get smaller fragments which cannot be taken out or spooled easily. You can keep the extracted DNA in distilled water to find out the quantity of DNA present in the plant material through spectrophotometer or else you can observe this under compound microscope for extended learning. Before binding up, let's go through the precautions too. Precaution number one, all the glassware must be thoroughly cleaned and dried before carrying out the experiment. Precaution number two, which is very important, only chilled ethanol should be used to carry out this extraction and chilling of ethanol can be done by keeping 95% ethanol in plastic bottle in the freezer overnight. Third precaution, spooling of DNA from the extract should be done gently. 
So that's it about the extraction of DNA from plant material. Stay tuned for more such experimental videos. Keep experimenting. Keep learning. Bye-bye. Thank you.